Indigenous organizations in Ecuador began an indefinite national strike on June 13 against the neoliberal economic policies of the right-wing government of President Guillermo Lasso. On Tuesday, the second day of the strike, the Ecuadorian armed forces and police detained Leonidas Isa for 24 hours. Isa is the president of the Confederation of Indigenous Nationalities of Ecuador or CONE, one of the organizations that called for the strike. CONE declared this detention arbitrary and illegal. It called on its members and associated organizations to undertake immediate protest measures for the freedom of our leader and for the dignity of our struggle. ISA was released after widespread condemnation of his detention, both nationally and internationally. Statements were issued by organizations such as the Ecuadorian NGO Alliance for Human Rights Organization, Colombian Indigenous Organization, the Regional Indigenous Council of Coca, and former Bolivian President Evo Morales. Ecuador's Attorney General's office also issued a statement saying that ISA has not been detained under the orders of this institution. The statement added that Attorney General Diana Salazar has issued guidelines through provincial attorneys to coordinate procedures with the aim of avoiding illegal or arbitrary detentions. Along with Kone, more than 53 social organizations called for the strike. The arrest came after a successful first day which saw thousands of protesters in at least 16 of the 24 provinces of the country blocking roads and mobilizing against the Lasso government's policies and the increasing insecurity in the country. In the capital, Quito, student organizations staged a massive march in support of the indigenous organization's demands and in defense of public higher education. However, their peaceful mobilization was violently repressed by the security forces. On the second day in the province of Cotopaxi, the national police and armed forces also carried out a violent attack on journalists. Reporters from Cordillera Medio de Comunicación were attacked and their equipment destroyed while they were covering the repression outside the Lakakunga prison. Protesters are demanding various measures to ease the financial and social tensions in the country. This includes reduction and freeze of fuel prices, fair prices for their farm products, soft loans for farmers, small producers and merchants, better employment opportunities, access to education in rural areas at all levels, access to healthcare, total ban on mining and oil exploitation activities in indigenous territories, respect for the collective rights of 21 indigenous peoples and nationalities, an end to drug trafficking, kidnappings and violence, and an end to privatization of public companies. The organizations also denounced President Lasso's policy of bailing out banks and big businessmen while 27% of the country's rural population lives in extreme poverty. They demanded that a progressive tax be imposed on people with large fortunes to combat inequality. ISA said that the strike was called after the failure of discussions with the government. In 2021, the representatives met with government authorities on three occasions and presented their demands, but the government did not give them a response. The national strike has also received the support of the National Union of Educators, the National Anti-Mining Front, among other social organizations and trade unions. The organizations have declared their intent to continue with the strike until the government responds to their demands.